What is happening? Welcome to another picture video breakdown. My name is Nick Polk, and today we're going to talk about Graham Ashcraft. Graham Ashcraft has been on a ridiculous stretch since coming back from the IO. He was so bad in the beginning of the year, and now all of a sudden he's different. And this was one of the best starts I've seen from him ever. It was sinkers inside of right handers, it was a slider that was getting whiffs, and a cutter that was upstairs and down low. Way better command instead of him just chucking it. We're going to watch his fifth inning quickly to showcase it, where he struck out Otani. His first. Impressive on that, which means you probably want to go for either that again or a harder. Again, there it is. Uh, and this is not Otani, but this is Otani next. Uh, of course not. That was not Otani's thing. Um, Shanuel, and that's a slider down. He's aggressive on it. You throw it again. You throw it a third time. If he's overswinging on it twice, you do it a third time. Instead, he's trying to go upstairs, and it's a 96. And it it feels like it's a four-seamer, but it's really a cutter. It has enough of that cut action to be called a cutter. Uh, so if you go upstairs with it, you do have to kind of get it inside. You don't want it to come back down into the zone. And keep in mind, when you're missing upstairs, if it's a cutter, you're going to be, you're trying to miss above the bat. So it's kind of hard to work with Ashcraft's cutter upstairs, right? Because you're trying to miss above the bat and a cutter that goes down, you got to work harder at getting it up and be more tempting, right? It's kind of tough. Um, so he's trying to go back to the side of the right 90, 91. I get that. Not really sure where you go with the upstairs. Oh, 96. And to see this kind of whiff on a 96 mile per hour fastball, you're not going to see. But with a cutter, this thing starts here and it goes down. It can be very vicious. And the thing about Ashcraft is I think he should be doing this all day. When it comes to where his cutters should be, it should be all of this inside to lefties. Never over the plate. It should just be hounding, 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 hounding here. Uh, kind of like Mariano Rivera did. He didn't want to put it over here. Want to put it over here, right? So this is going to be a thing for Ashcraft moving forward. I've got to mention them. Where is the glove here? It's here. Where does it land? Here, right? So Ashcraft, is. this has always been the problem with Ashcraft to me. The stuff is amazing. Location is not, right? PLV, my metric, loves it and hates it because he, when it works and he's in the locations, it's insanely good. When it's not, it's not, right? So it's back and forth. It's a very volatile PLV that is a pitch level value. I... Uh, uh, metric that we have it's our pitch quantifier that is the only one that really takes everything into in each individual pitch and allows you to assess the batter because of it. it's really cool um we're doing some amazing things with this it's only on the pitchless website also you can get this shirt this is sandy crush you can get this on our pitchless store as well okay so moving on here you can understand how this would work here he is against uh against Trevor. there's a slower slider 89 cool there was a moment last start that Ashcraft was throwing these cutters that are, sorry, these sliders are more like cutters, like a little bit harder. And I was like, why are you doing this? You don't want it to be more of a slider. But that works. And there's another one. And oh, oh, oh man, Trout, sorry. Trout swings out of his shoes for this. Why? Because it's a hanging slider. And he thinks it's the cutter and he has to slow down and he just loses his footing. Let's watch it one more time. Watch his feet. He just doesn't. Oh, he's so close and he's really upset about it. And because he's swinging at that, like you gotta go slider down away. Oh no, that I believe is the sinker. I hope it is. Uh, if this is the cutter, I mean that's actually really vicious coming back over a little bit. Um, it's hard to see with this camera angle, unfortunately. Uh, I actually have an answer that was the sinker, and he gets them on the cutter. Like this is, I want to watch this one more time. This is just so hard to hit. This is going down and away from him. Um, and it was interesting. Once again, he's trying to go upstairs and he can't right misses again down here to get the strike out with it it's better this is a really good pitch at oh two you want this more out of the zone because he is swinging and it gave him a chance at least but at 97 i mean i want to watch this one more time this is, this is like you can see the drop a little right so there you go that's two the sinker to me was my favorite pitch there now it should be a little bit more inside especially oh two it's not really what you want but that's where you want to be throwing your sinkers for the most part at oh two probably even more inside uh, but yeah, all right. So now against Otani, what are you going to do? The Cannibal McSanchez, uh, which is essentially trying to get cutters for strikes upstairs that start out of the zone, come back in. It's after uh, Colin McHugh and Animal Sanchez, who did this and had success, successful seasons doing it in the teens. Um, I'm still annoyed that like he's not good in this, but whatever. He got called strike, and this is really good. If he actually tries to do this, it's good. Why? You can't see from the camera angle. This actually starts away and comes back in, right? That's really hard to just stay on. Right? That's 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 actually the Corbin Burns method, 
which is obviously successful. Ashcraft doesn't have the command. Okay. Oh, one, what do we get? That's really good. Again, this he's missing, but missing in good spots. This is starting inside the zone and going out of it for a cutter. That's really, really good, right? Now, if he tried to go here, this would miss here. And that's a problem. But, but trying to go here and going down here, great. We're fine with this. Uh, now you can probably throw the slider off of that. But let's see if he has the command to do that. He does not. I mean, that's really bad. Uh, you could say, no, it's trying to be a backdoor one. Starting off the plane, come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is bad. This is a mistake pitch all the way through. You got to get this down here. And you can see how upset Otani was from that. Oh, man. What was that? A sinker. Wow. Whoa. That is something else. You Okay, a couple things here. One, you really don't see Ashcraft throw sinkers to, to left-handers. You only throw it against right-handers. Why? Because he's not good commanding this front hip. You rarely see swings and misses on sinkers uh, in general. But if you get enough actual true sink, which he did in this one, oh boy, it's going in the opposite direction of the cutter. This is so filthy. You don't see this. This is starting here and coming off. And Otani's just not ready for this. He's expecting this section to be the cutter that comes back in and or the slider or something and just is not. Oh, he's checked out on this offering. Love it. Again, though, where's the glove? Where's the glove? Up here. Why is it up here? This is actually, if you're going to do this, it should be here. Why is it up here? I, I don't get it. I really don't. You can make an argument that with Ashcraft, you can see the grip tier too, by the way, just pretty cool down the rails. Um, like this in there. That's what he's doing. I uh, Maybe Ashcraft is a guy that always aims up here and that's how he gets it down. I've seen that before in the opposite. If you aim low for like Oda Rizzi and he would always sail it high. But this is not where you want it. You want it here, right? Like where it swings and misses. Very strange. Anyway, that's Graham Ashcraft. That's how he does it. You think, oh my gosh, he throws so hard and has his stuff. And like, it's always been that way. How would he allow all those third runs and like those clunkers and having such a terrible season? Because command is not his thing. And you can even see it here. The misses are going in good places. So that's not necessarily something I want to believe in. Um, but the stuff is there. As long as he gets good matchups, he should be good moving forward. All right, that is it for today. Make sure you leave a comment below who you want me to watch. I'm not going to be able to watch next week, unfortunately. I'm going to be in L.A., uh, but I'll be back in September, and I'm looking forward to watching a lot of games with you guys. All right, that is it. My name is Nick Pollock, and may your babs be low, and your strike outside.